Hello everyone, um, it's me Bakizi here and tonight I'm gonna discuss the topic of aim in Tarkov. I'm gonna explain different techniques of aiming, uh, show you some tips and tricks, even for advanced players. I know some tips that I'm gonna uh, tell you are actually not even used by so-called uh, best players of the game. Like, So um, I really think it will be helpful for many people who want to improve their aim in this game. Uh, in my opinion, there are three main things regarding PvP in Tarkov, which are uh, the most important one is uh, map knowledge. If you have good map knowledge, you will definitely have a better crosshair placement, better movement around the map, you know how to rotate, how to catch your opponents off guard. That's why you should have a good map knowledge. I suggest uh, learning the maps uh, except labs of course by doing scav runs if you're uh, a new player you can just go scav run you will find the locations where all the pvp is like danger areas maybe find some loot spots uh, you understand how to rotate around the map which places you should go to which are useless etc etc the second aspect uh, is movement movement is in uh, in pvp is really important you should uh, always know how you should pick, it, it also relates to movement and aim as well, how you should pick, where you should go, how you should move, when you need to run, where you need to creep up, and etc, etc, et et again. And the third aspect is aim, which is the topic I'm gonna tell you about today in my ultimate Tarkov aim guide. So, the first the, more, the, the most important thing regarding aiming in every almost every FPS game is your crosshair placement. Main ideas of crosshair placement. Your, your center, like, uh, let me change, okay. Um, center of your screen, like your laser sight, even if you play without laser sight, should always be uh, at the head level of your opponents. So if you pick this place, like you leave it at head level, then you, like maybe person is here, head level, head level, head level, always head level, always at the head level, it's very important. Second one, when you're trying to pick, for example, behind the wall or behind the corner or anything, you should always, if, if you're doing ADS pick or even basic pick pinpoint firing, you should always have it at the head level as well. And you should imagine where your opponent can be behind the wall. If you have a good map knowledge, it's not that hard. So, for example, I know people like to stand there. Whoops, if they're here, I'm already at their head. I don't need to, like, I don't pick like this and aim like this. When I when I flick shot, um, when I have bad cross placement, I need to flick. It's gonna fucking suck. I'm gonna lose some milliseconds, depending on my, like, flick accuracy and stuff, I'm gonna lose some time and in, the, in that time my opponent can kill me. So, every angle, if I know opponent's there, I'm gonna um, look at the direction he's heading, is like this. You can even pre-fire if you want, like you know person is there, bam, he's dead. He doesn't even have time to react. So, crosshair placement is a really important thing. Uh, and most importantly in those like common angles like this and the person from barrel the people from barrel will even uh, pre-fire you like most of the time if they know you're there so keeping your crosshair on head level which uh, the only training can be like you can go on offline map or you can go scav raid and just train having your crosshair at the aim level you can train it um, with the laser sight, it's, it's gonna help. I'm playing without it turned on, so uh, I'm, I'm already like... It's already common for me where the head level is and where the opponents can be. Um, the next thing is, I'm gonna explain you when you should ADS, at what range, at, in at which situations you should ADS, and when not. In my opinion, ADS is much more... Um, Like, it's better. Yeah, that's what I want to say. ADSing is better than just pinpoint firing. But, I'm gonna take this place again, this staircase. 
Imagine there is a person here. You know he's here. And if you know he's alone, it's better to pick and kill him like this while ADSing. Or white pick him like this, run, like run away or run in. Because like if you run in really fast, he might have bad aim and like miss shots. So you just run in, ADS and kill him. But if he's not alone and you like... You don't know for certain that he's not alone. And you want to rush and kill him like this. Instead of peeking like this. Because if you peek even um, even when pre-firing. He might be like spraying this place. Because like there's only one angle you can peek from. So if you want to run in. And kill him. I suggest pinpoint firing. So how it will look. And why you should pinpoint fire. You run in. You kill him. And... You kill him, and imagine there is one or two guys more. And if you ADS, because your ADS like speed uh, sensitivity is slower, it's gonna be harder for you to switch to change like change your crosshair position really quick. So you just like do like this. It's quicker. You're not gonna lose time, and you have a chance to kill those guys. Uh, and of course, like the basic things like uh, ADSing from. Uh, uh, from long distance is crucial. You should always ADS at long di longer distances. A at close range, sometimes you can pinpoint fire, but uh, pinpoint, pinpoint firing is a little bit more related to your luck, you know? Even though you're skilled, uh, ADS is more reliable. Uh, one more thing, for example, on labs. Because this game is kind of um, buggy, you know? The render distance sucks so there are many places like this when you ADS you see those red barrels when you're not ADSing you don't see them and when a person picks you you'll see them first because you don't have those barrels rendering you should like know that stuff uh, I don't know if you sh like want to use them or not I'm not really picking this angle that much so I tried to not like concentrate on these bugs and abuse them but you should know about them all right so different techniques First technique I'm gonna tell you about is uh, single firing. When you should use single firing? In this game, you should use single firing when you have non-modded weapon. For example, AK. You have 90 vertical recoil. M4, you have 44, for example. You can make even less. So you have an AK. And you imagine someone is picking you, like, for example, Raider. You should not spray him down. If you will spray him down, your crosshair is gonna go up. Like this. If you um, if you cannot like uh, control your spray really good, really well, I suppose I suggest like tapping at medium range, like what like this range. You should tap. Just tap the head with good bullets. Having good bullets is very important. Uh, also like. You might, you probably know with ADAR and other single fire weapons, uh, you can really just uh, tap fire really quick and have like zero recoil almost. So tap firing, uh, really good technique for medium to long range, and with bad weapons, yeah, medium and long range as well. And at really close range, you can afford yourself to spray. Then uh, s spraying. So, the thing is, spraying in this game is OP. I will not uh, explain the burst firing, because in my opinion, burst fire is useless in this game. So, that's why we should take spraying. Uh, because this game has auto recoil, there is one moment you should know. When you spray your gun... Um, one second. When you spray your gun... Your first bullets uh, are gonna go up. So it will look like this. Let me reload. You will start shooting, your, your bullets will go up, and then they will go down because your uh, recoil auto compensates. You see, it goes up, then it goes down. So if you wanna, if you want to control your recoil, firstly, you should uh, move your 
mouse down, then a little bit up. Oh, wait. Sorry, misclick. You see, it, like, almost all of your bullets go, bullets go to one place. That's how you, like, compensate recoil when spraying full auto in this game, so very important aspect. First you go down, then a little bit up, like half, like take this place, you go down to like this, depending on your skill of assault rifles and recoil control. Like you go a little bit down, then you go back up to half a distance that, that you travel down. Um, also, of course, when you're leaning, you have zero recoil, even on unmodded gun, almost zero recoil. When you're crouched as well, you get less recoil much less recoil so i suggest when you can just crouch pick like uh when you want to spray like you see person's back instead of uh spraying him while standing still like standing up just sit down and spray him you're gonna have higher chance of killing him uh, how you train your recoil control just fucking spray at the wall Come in the place, like any map you want, you can spray at the wall, or you can go on factory or any other map, uh, on offline mod, add bots, horde, high amount, any amount you want, set them to difficulty you want, and just spray them down, spray them down, spray them down, and single fire them, single firing, th that's the way you can train it as well. And another way of training it, I suggest, is o also practicing your um, map knowledge. By just picking the corners on the map you, you want to learn. Just picking the corners and, for example, single fire the angle. Or pick the corner and spray the angle. And look uh, like how your spray, t spray pattern was. Was it like clean, clear, good, good enough? Or you missed some shots. Then, uh, also what you need to hit moving targets is uh, tracking aim. Tracking aim means like for example someone is running and you need to follow your crosshair so you can hit him while he's running. How do you tr uh, train your tracking aim? Either you can go offline as well and kill bots or you can shoot the wall once and then you walk around this wall and you try to keep your crosshair on the dot. So you just tr track this dot with your mouse. You go like different, you go further, you go closer, and you just keep your crosshair on it. And if you see, if you see that, um, like you're moving your mouse too much, like for example, you're trying to uh, track this dot, right? And you're just moving your mouse too much. You cannot like concentrate on this. Or you don't have enough sensitivity to follow it, so your crosshair go to the right to, when you go right, or your crosshair go to the left when you go right. So what I'm trying to say is you can also calculate what sensitivity for ADSing and uh, is good for you. When you don't have enough sensitivity to follow the dots on different distances, that means that your sense is um, too, too low. When, when you're trying to follow the dots and your crosshair goes more to the left when you go right or uh, and more to the right when you go left, uh, that means that your sensitivity is too high. So you can change it. For example, here is my sense. Um, 0 0.66 on... Uh, when not ADSing, 0, uh, 0.61 when ADSing, but I have 400 dpi, which means if you have 800 dpi, um, my sense is, is two times less. So 33 and 30 when ADSing. Uh, then, some tips and tricks. Uh, why am I using laser sight? The thing is, when you use laser sight and you want to pinpoint fire, even like I don't like showing my position by using a laser sight, but 
if you use laser sight like this, LS321, and you set it to infrared, which is almost invisible in most cases, you can barely see it. I'm gonna show you. I'll pinpoint from here. Point fire, I mean. Oh, wait. And then I'll do this again without um, my laser sight. Turn it on, off. So I guess you can see the difference between two spray patterns. When you have your laser sight on, doesn't matter which uh, in which mode, you're gonna have more accuracy when uh, point firing. This is really like I don't know any anyone who like told someone about this trick. I know only few friends uh, with whom we discussed the thing and found it out, but. Um, I don't know any any person who's using it like for this purpose. So you guys should know. If you want to like fully mod the gun, use a laser sight and just turn it off. I mean, not turn it off, turn the infrared uh, function on or use just a basic laser sight. Uh, other thing is if you want to have no recoil gun, you either pay a lot of money to build the best M4 without a silencer or you should level up your skills. I'm gonna show you my skills. No, wait, let me switch it, switch it up for English. Sorry. How skills work? You have your assault rifle, SMG, pistol, shotgun skills, which reduce your vertical recoil. So my assault rifle skill reduces my vertical recoil by 13%. And there is also recoil control skill, which reduces uh, your horizontal recoil. At max level, it reduces to 30%. So what it means that um, it means that assault rifle skill, if you're using AKs, M4s, HKs, uh, is much more important because vertical recoil is a pain in the ass. Horizontal recoil is easier to control, but vertical recoil. Uh, you need to get rid of it, mostly, most of the times. So, how do you level up those skills? To level up recoil control, which is really easy, you should just shoot. You just, you just like, for example, you play a map, and you have a lot of money, you just, when before you exit, you just shoot all the bullets of your guns. You go to the elevator, like, elevator or parking extract, on laps, and just shoot, 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 all the mags. And, or you can go with a pistol, have, buy a lot of cheap bullets, especially for this, go into the raid and shoot 2,000 two bullets or more. But it's still gonna be slow. If you, uh, you should do it only if you have a lot of money or you really want to do the recoil control leveling, which uh, this skill is not really that useful. While assault rifle skill is really important and you can level it up uh, only by hitting your enemies or... Uh, or by using SKS and reloading. So mostly like this this skill is really hard to level. You just need to play a lot. Play a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And also the last tip I'm gonna tell you is how you should choose your setup. If you want to be consistent and you really want to improve your aim, uh, one thing you should do is always use the same setup. I'm gonna tell you why. When you use the same setup, not only the gun, but armor, like even rig, everything. No, rig doesn't really matter, just a little bit. And a backpack. You should always have a similar weight, similar ergonomics on your gun, and similar, like, um, your armor and your helmet, they change your ergonomics as well. So, when depending on your ergonomics, your... Uh, speed of your turning, like your turning rate, or I don't know how to call it, like speed at which you're turning is gonna be different, and your running speed is gonna be different. You should get used to one speed of turning so you can pinpoint more accurately without the laser sight. Because if you train your pinpoint firing like, like this, oh wait, no bullets. 
If you train it like this, for example, you go on the map, then you shoot with a laser sight, you get used to like shooting at two targets, for example, flicking between them, then you turn off and you do the same. And when you get used to it, you're gonna, um, you should have the same speed because if you if you have different gear, you have a different turning speed as well, which means your muscle memory that you earn by training is going to be lost. That's why if you're really serious about this, I, I, sh I suggest using the same setup. So that was mostly it. I have some other stuff to tell, but I don't want to make this video too long because like I'm not really good at editing, so I just make it all in one part. I'm sorry for that. I'm gonna try to learn to do it better. Um, yeah, I hope you liked it and you learned something new. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me in the comments section. And also, uh, I'm gonna stream from the Monday, from this Monday. I'm gonna stream almost every day for the three weeks at least. And I'm, I'm streaming a lot. So please, uh, if you like my content, if you wanna see some real aiming skills, probably follow my channel and peace bye